Happy Holidays, mga kababayan kong mga nanay. It's breastfeeding time. I'm here, your lactation and breastfeeding consultant today, who is willing to provide you again a good information about the problem, the most common problems that mom's having, the latching technique on the babies, and the latching problem with the mother, especially kung ano mang shape ng nipple nyo, kung ano mang shape ng breast nyo. So today is another answer sa mga nagtatanong sa akin about paano ba talaga gagamitin yung perfect technique on how to latch a baby na mahirap talagang ilatch. So, specific ko ngayon ang teaching ko sa mga nanay na talagang inverted yung nipple. Okay? Either you have a flat nipple or inverted nipple. So, we'll do the inverted nipple. Now, ito talagang pinakamahirap sa lahat ng nursing experience ko with my patients in our breastfeeding clinic on how to latch a mom with an inverted nipple. Now, um, sa mga nanay dyan na nagtatanong, bakit talaga, wh why is it some women have inverted nipple? Based on research, Women who have inverted nipple is caused by the underdeveloped tissue sa nipple natin when nasa womb pa tayo ng nanay natin. Okay? Hindi yun na-develop. Until we knew women to puberty, hindi pa rin na-develop during puberty. Now, in my experience, siguro about uh, maybe three in 10 women sa mga pasyente ko in our breastfeeding clinic have inverted nipple, okay? Itong inverted nipple na to, it can cause so much damage to the nipple, it can also cause damage to the baby. Why? Some babies will not gain weight. Kasi hindi sila makalatch. And some babies will end up of having more on formula feeding instead of breastfeeding because of inverted nipple. Now, if you are a woman right now, na wala ka pang asawa, you never been pregnant, you never been a mom, ito yan yung time na pay attention, 15 minutes of your time, and I'll tell you what to do if you have this kind of inverted nipple right now. So, this is a perfect picture of a well-formed nipple. Kita nyo? Very well-formed nipple. I saw most so many women with a very well formed nipple. Okay, um, I saw women also na very very. Uh, minsan nakaka na na naawa ako minsan sa mga nanay na na mayroong mga inverted nipple and who are struggling with latching and breastfeeding, kasi they really try their best na makalatch yung baby, na makuha talaga yung gatas na gusto nilang i-breastfeed ni baby, pero talagang hirap na hirap sila due to the uh, complexity of the shape of the nipple. So, what I want to do is that, um, for a moment here, I'm just going to quickly close my window because it's making so much noise right now, and I don't want to... Okay, here we go. Sorry about that distraction. So... When it comes to uh, latching a baby with an inverted, so look at what I did. I did it. That's an inverted. See? That's a protruding. That's an inverted. Okay. So, we're going to talk about inverted nipple. See? Kung titignan nyo yung inverted nipple, ang makikita nyo lang talaga yung areola, yung nipple is it's totally in kind of inside na nababaon. So, how to breastfeed a baby with an inverted nipple like this. So, even mention ko sa inyo, when you're holding your breast, pag ikay inverted yung nipple mo, you need to make sure na ginagamit mo yung tinatawag na C-hold. Okay? Either C-hold or V-hold. Okay? A V-hold or a C-hold. So, inverted natin ulit, okay? So, it's inside now. So, anyway, when you do a, a, a C-hold like this, see? Ang ginagamit ko, I'm, I'm, what I do kung, like, when I teach moms how to latch like this, 
I make sure now when I hold the breast firmly and make it thin, really thin, yung manipis na manipis na pagkahawak mo. When it looks like this, see? Nipis na manipis talaga. Now, when you're eating, imagine yourself you're eating a, a, a burger, a cheeseburger. Di ba nakaganito ka? So when you're doing a thin, thin hold of your breast, imagine mo when you're holding that burger. You want to hold it thin so that you can bite it. Yun ang gawin mo sa baby mo. Now, when you're holding it and the baby is trying to bite it, so you're holding it like this, you have to wait until yung baby mo able to cut the whole areola, tong whole areola na to. Because kung yung pagsihold mo and you let it go, bumabalik yung breast tissue mo just like this. See, if I hold it see hold like this, then bilis bilisan mo, you let it go right away. Hindi deep yung latch na baby. Remember this. It is called breastfeeding. It is not nipple feeding. Breastfeeding, the baby should be at the breast. Nipple feeding, the baby is in the nipple. And that's what the bottle is. Kasi ang bottle lagging nipple feeding lang talaga. Because the baby's mouth is just in the nipple area. But when you're breastfeeding, the baby's mouth talaga is right, right past. If you can do past the areola, yun ang kailangan mo. Para yung inverted nipple mo ma stretch ng konte, it elongate a little bit at kaya ni baby na unti-unti yung ma-i-stretch ng ma-i-stretch hanggang few weeks or even months after lalabas na lalabas na yun. Okay? When I teach prenatal cast um, in, my, in my nursing career, when I teach prenatal cast, Tinuturuan ko talaga yung mga buntis na how to exercise, how to do a nipple exercise kung sila ay may mga inverted nipple or flat nipple. Dahil our nipple is very stretchy. Okay? Ang skin is very stretchy. So, kahit man sabihin na inverted yung nipple mo, talagang wala ng pag-asa, you can still do... Uh, stretch exercise doon sa nipple mo, but just do it very gentle. I've demonstrated this one sa iba ko mga videos, but I'm gonna do it again. Just for the sake na nanonood kayo ngayon. So, if you are a single right now, dalaga ka pa, uh, or, or um, buntis ka na, check, check your nipple, see how, how, what's the shape of it. Kung talagang uh, you notice na Maiksing maiksi yung nipple mo, or, or flat yung nipple mo, or inverted yung nipple mo, then you can do the nipple exercise. So, ganito ang tinuturo ko sa mga pasyente ko uh, during prenatal class. So, that's your nipple, right? So, what you do is just hold it, just the nipple. Hold it only, and you do pull front, and then side to side. You pull front, and then side to side. You can do that one, five five times, three times in a day, kahit nakahiga ka, or when you're taking a shower, at um, kahit, kahit in your pastime na nasa bedroom ka, you can do that one just to exercise your, uh, the, your nipple to stretch it. Para in preparation, pag, pag nanganak ka na, pag nandyan na si baby mo, then it's more convenient for you to properly latch the baby. Now, here's the thing. Marami ako mga nanay na perfect na perfect na yung mga nipple nila. Si baby naman ang may problema. Ito namang baby ang may problema. So, <laughs> minsan hindi mo na malaman kung anong gagawin mo. So, here's the thing. For those babies na maliliit, mga preterm, or weak babies, talagang mag-struggle sila no matter gaano ka-perfect ang shape ng nipple mo. Okay? So, it's a matter on how you hold your breast how you position your baby and how um, comfortable you are when you're sitting or positioning yourself in a chair or in the bed pag nagbe-breastfeed ka. So always remember, 
hindi porket may may um, tawag nito may inverted nipple ka na hindi ka maka successfully breastfeed yes I've seen so many mom who successfully breastfeed with my help uh, who has inverted nipple um, ginagamit din ng mga isa din sa advice ko minsan if you have inverted nipple after you breastfeed kung difficulty pa rin yung pagkalatch mo may difficulties pa rin you can use a pump use that pump to stretch your nipple, okay? But be careful dun sa speed na gagamitin mo sa pump. Kasi too much pressure on your nipple would crack your nipple. Magbubrush yung nipple mo na masasakit, masasakit, masakit tuloy yun. So make, be very careful na be very gentle when you're doing um, nipple exercise. And if you're doing manual compression dun sa breast mo, when you're doing manual compression. So, if you're doing manual compression, making sure na Start ka dito sa pinaka upper part ng breast mo, go lower, and then pull the nipple gently. Pull it gently. Para unti-unting na stretch siya. Parang si baby ang nag nag stretch ng nipple mo. So, I hope na nakatulong itong video na to sa mga nanay na may problema sa latching when it comes to flat nipple or inverted nipple. Feel free to do your comments if you have any experience about this. Share this video sa mga nanay para makatulong din kayo. I promise you, every 2 to 3 days may mga videos ako na makakatulong sa inyo instead of going, uh, alam kong mahirap humanap ng lactation consultant, breastfeeding lactation consultant sa Pilipinas, okay? Ako lang ata ang lactation consultant sa Philippines na nag-aalay sa inyo ng evidence-based information about the real breastfeeding. What's, what's the problem behind breastfeeding, okay? For me, breastfeeding is not easy. Only those moms who've been moms for a long time or babies who are older and have made you easier in breastfeeding. But for new moms, especially with inverted nipple, breastfeeding is not easy. So it's a lie to me kung sasabihin ko sa inyo breastfeeding is easy because it's not based on my nursing career as a lactation consultant. Hindi madali ang breastfeeding kung my complications baby at my complication yung breast mo and milk supply mo. So, bye for now. I'll see you again. Happy holidays. Enjoy the holiday. If you have any questions about breastfeeding, nandito lang ako. Ang inyong nurse educator alone and lactation consultant who can provide you, um, I think, one of the best breastfeeding support that I give to so many nurses in the Philippines as well as so, so many moms that I've trained in my nursing career. Bye for now. Happy Holidays!